now that I have my document basics set up, uh, I want to embed my video tag. So um, actually the first order of business, I'm just going to go into my root folder and I'm going to create a new folder called videos and in there I'll put my three different videos kind of just to keep my uh, folder over here neat. Um, oh, it's also worth mentioning that Prior to shooting this video, I renamed my videos, and there's a couple of things to pay attention to. For one, I eliminated any spaces and I added dashes in between. Um, you don't want to leave spaces in your files, and you don't want to have any special characters in there like the at sign or the hash sign or anything like that. Um, the other thing I did is I named all three of them the same thing except the extensions at the end. I kept them all lowercase and that's more for me for when I'm uh, copying and pasting code or manually writing in code. I don't want uppercase and lowercase and the potential of uh, the file not to be linked right or anything like that. And uh, finally, it, it's it's a semantic name. I didn't name it like video or my video. Yeah, I went named it Space Invaders Gameplay, which is what the video actually has. And um, this is all good practice. So, all right, now that that's there, we will use a new HTML5 tag and wait for it, it's called the video tag. Go figure. And the video tag actually is what's used to encapsulate um, our video source. So, first, let's just start by creating the old video. And now we're going to add our video inside. And video, you could add videos by using a uh, new element, uh, not a new element, an element called source. And source is uh, starts off with, yep, source. And now you actually need the source. But just to make sure we get the syntax right, uh, I want to work with an article. Now, this article, it's on html5rocks.com, and if you look at the URL over here, uh, it's forward slash en tutorials video basics. I'll make sure to put a link in it in the description. Uh, this is a wonderful article. This is kind of when I was first really sync getting my head wrapped around adding video and all that. This was very helpful. And right here, they show you the markup. Um, and what's interesting is that they add, first off, in the source, they put the actual source URL, where the movie is. They add a type, um, and that's the MIM type to make sure that the server sends over, sends to the browser what kind of file it is, because, uh, you know, if it was something else, like a CSS file, you know, we put in type text forward slash CSS, but the type is important, but I'm actually going to drop this they ended up putting these codecs and they say what video and audio codecs they have remember we talked about webm having the vp8 and the and the vorbis oog um audio uh, but anyway we're going to we're going to just dump that and we're just going to keep the ex the source and extent and type attributes in there so um well let's do that so I got source, and I'll do SRC, and Dreamweaver will allow us to browse for it. Let's see, Space Invaders Project videos, and so the first thing I'm, the first video I'm going to add is MP4. Um, the reason I'm adding MP4 first in my source is that there's an actual bug in in like the iPad and iPhone where when it's going through what videos are inside of the video tag and source, if the first video isn't an MP4, it's going to, and, and if we say we were to put the WebM, it's going to bring back an error that says, you know, this format isn't recognized. Uh, other browsers, like Chrome that supports WebM, if it sees MP4 first, which it doesn't support, it'll just ignore it and go on to the next one until it finds something that it does support, um, which is going to be WebM. But uh, anyway, we want it to work on all of them. So since Chrome's a little bit smarter than like the iPad and, and iOS, the mobile Safari, we're going to have to accommodate mobile Safari. So there it is. 
and as far as type goes we'll add just what it says over here video forward slash mp4 and uh, yeah we're just dropping let me put a semicolon we're dropping the um, codex that it does and also I'm not going to do the forward slash this ending I'm just going to end it this way self ending uh, this will work and actually let, let me show you let's do it both ways because we're all we're, we're trying to hope not to generate any errors so I'll, sh I'll just show you some when you see code if you see a coding difference in an article versus what I'm doing it'll make sense to you um, so we have the source code for the mp4 now we're gonna do this other one which is web M and we're gonna change this to web M as well and let's preview this in our browser alright cool it's it's in there uh, it's not doing anything because we don't have it auto starting or anything but it's definitely in there and and that's good and now let's validate our document now oh I just wanted to put the forward slash over here here's what I'll show you um, neither one of these syntaxes ooh uh, I did get an error somewhere bad value in my mp4 where did I mess this up I messed this up somewhere let me just double check what I did oh duh I didn't have to add this semicolon that was only to add if I was gonna add something else in there let me try this again beautiful okay so I got my document HTML5 was found with no errors so notice that I ended these tags in two different similar ways I mean two yeah two different similar ways that's good uh, in two different ways uh, ones with the forward slash greater than the other ones just with the greater than but neither one of them uh, produced an error uh, personally if that's the case I lean on the side of uh, less code as opposed to more um, and we'll we'll kind of see I mean if we find some weirdness in different browsers we may we want to make a mental note that we didn't close we didn't close it that way with the forward slash um, which is kind of an XHTML format by the way but that's that's a different point well we'll just know that we did something a little bit different than we saw in articles so that if we have any problems we know that this could be a potential for it